do you believe you have a chance of beating Donald Trump in the primary? And what do you add to the equation that Donald Trump doesn't, which would be why people would pick you over Donald Trump in a head to head race? Yeah, it's it's a very fair question. So my honest gut instinct is that I will win the primary and then I will win the general election in a landslide on a scale that Ronald Reagan delivered in 1980 and that we have not seen since then. And I think that will unite the country and give me a moral mandate to achieve what are some unsparing policy objectives, which I can share with you. I'm about where Trump was in June or July of 2015 and on the rise as an outsider. I'm polling at third in this Republican primary field. So I think we are more than well positioned to win this election. I don't want to see him eliminated from competition as the federal government now tries to do every day with a new indictment, another day, another indictment. That's not the way I want to see this go. I want to do it by persuading the voters of this country that I am best positioned to take the America first agenda even further than Donald Trump did. I think I will go further. I've talked about using the military to secure the southern border, not just build the wall. I'm not just going to put Betsy DeVos on top of the Department of Education and expect reform. I will shut it down. That's how you actually reform the administrative state is you actually shut the whole thing down because it's unconstitutional. But the most important part of this, actually, of why I'm in this race, Donald Trump is an excellent America first candidate. He's done outstanding things for the country. I respect him as a president of the United States. But there's something about Trump may not even be his fault. I think it's not his fault. But he has an effect on about a one third of this country that makes them literally psychiatrically ill when he's in office and he speaks. I can't explain it to you, but it's just it's just a fact. It's a fact about our nation. And I care about our country. I do not want to see us march towards a national divorce. And the funny thing is, Brandon, I can't explain this to you. In many of the cases, I'm saying the same things as Trump from a policy perspective, adopting the same policies. In some instances, going even further unapologetically, taking on issues that even Trump was, I would say, a little bit delicate in taking on. I'm not delicate. I'm going further. And yet, for whatever reason, I'm bringing more of the country along with me as I do it. Young people in, uh, in our campaign, 40% of the donors to us, I have 65,000 plus donors already, 40% are first time ever donors to a Republican candidate or the Republican party in any way. We're exciting young people, we're bringing them along. We're making them proud to be American. Even many independents, even a few Democrats or one time Democrats are coming along. That's why I think, you know, look, this election, many people, you're right, do have open debates about what the actual result of the election was, understandably. But that's why I think 2024 cannot be a 50.1 margin election. It needs to be a landslide election. And while I think that Donald Trump and other candidates in this case could defeat Joe Biden, I think I'm the only one that can deliver a landslide and unite this country while also going forward forward even further with that America first agenda. So that would be my pitch to anybody who voted for Donald Trump is that I'm one of them. And I think that that's exactly why I'm in this race. And even if you look at our team, right, our state chair in New Hampshire, that's one of the early states. He was one of the early adopters on the Trump train. He was Trump's chair in New Hampshire back in the 2016 race, long before that was a popular campaign to be a part of. And so we're bringing those people along, but that's exactly how we're going to win is by doing it the America first way.